Here's a series of drills I like to do to reinforce how we're going to attack the backhand or the right-handed player. We start with down the line forehands cross our backhands. If a ball comes to the court, you must stop the drill. Stop the drill, clear the ball. Then continue. Always watch or you'll get hit like I got hit. You're focusing on telling your player to drive the ball as hard as you can. Because that's the purpose of drills. You want them to upgrade the power level so that when they play a real match and drop the power level at 8%, they're still in good shape. This is inside out forehand in the middle and down the line forehand. Another drill you do to sharpen the attack on the backhand side. Encourage them to drive the ball as hard as you can. Make them tired also. They get tired, you can make them lose their body to the ball. We're using the Volicam system. Uh, we really believe in this system. So if you use the coupon, you get free shipping. Mm. Up close, dead ball feeds are very valuable. Give them that high dead ball that everyone has a hard time with, the bigger ball. And remind them what you're working on. We're working on a horizontal swing plane, extending the racket through to the contact plane. So you're gonna turn with the body, make impact, and bring the racket all the way through. It's a very tough concept to learn when you're not just doing it. The important thing here is you must have his record set before the ball comes. So it makes him shadow you. It sounds silly, but it's important because if he can't shadow you without the ball, they can't shadow you with the ball. And they can't, they're not learning. They didn't drive the ball. See how the ball is driving? He still turns the racket head a little bit over. What we're focusing here is just on the rotation and keeping the horizontal plane. Extending the racket through the contact plane. Always work on one thing at a time. Unless he's hitting on top of the ball, it's tough to encourage him to get through the ball and hit through the baseline and ball. And it won't let him to. Do the inside out also. Because the inside out is a different rotation. You can rotate and stop and extend your arm away from your body. Inside out forehands are really tough for players to do. Try the volley cam system, we really like it, and I think you'll like it also. And focus on these tips that we worked on today.